how do I convince people not experienced with journey mapping to use tools, including sophisticated ones like Cosonance? So I can totally imagine this. You're, exci- mm. you're the person excited about journey mapping. You see the value in our organization. You think we need to do this. So the first challenge is how do I get my team to start using journey mapping? And then the next step is even how do I convince them to use more sophisticated tools? I think this is a challenge so many people run into. Do you recognize this, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. And what I also recognize is that the people that use uh, sophisticated tools like Castellans, they have been on a journey. (laughs) They have started with uh, post-its. They have tried to do it in Excel. They have understood it doesn't work. They have tried to do it in InDesign. And then you have an an image. They have tried to, etc. And then they try to convince other people internally that haven't been on this journey they to now go with the sophist- yeah 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 to, to go with sophisticated tools as customers. I mean, how how could you ever think that those people, without that year of struggle, with with like Stone Age solutions, how could they ever think of going with a tool for this? I think that what you have to do is to really, I mean, first, as you say, Mark, to just show them the pi- power of custom journey map, and uh, then understanding on a very basic level the skills. Just start with post-its and then most make a post-it uh, session and people not used to post-its will quickly understand that if, I mean, I think I have some post-its here behind me. No, I haven't. I mean, if you take it away in the wrong way, it, they will be curly. <laughs> so you, you, have, you need a course how to how to take away posts in a in a in a professional way? Um, I think people pretty pretty quick will understand the the challenges with uh, uh, not using purpose tools uh, if they have been part of the same journey uh, with understanding journey mapping, understanding the challenges with. Um, uh, with post-its, uh, PowerPoints, uh, etc., and I think that understanding those challenges are how do we how do we spread this? They have to understand that customer experience is teamwork, so we have to invite people early on, and we can't be hundred people in the workshop. Uh, how do we keep updating this? Uh, all those questions. How do we? add all the, the discussions that we had here uh, into a structure that we could keep working on. I think all those things, if you just help people being part of this process, they will also come to the conclusion that we need tools to make mm, this mm. in a proper way. I think another thing that is, uh, that, that are, those are the questions connected to, to challenges when not working with tools like Castellans. But it's another thing here is also that what is the value, what is the business value of keeping in the operation, in the operational business, always working with our customer journeys? Uh, When not uh, putting a lot of money in developing things that the customer never wanted, uh, when uh, the sales department are selling something that the product department can't deliver. Um, I mean, all, what are the challenges if we don't work customer-centric from journeys and if it's not spread across the organization? What if branding makes their customer journey and uh, the product owners make their customer journeys and mm. say, no, we have put our budget and used consultants to make our customer journeys. You have to make your own. Is doesn't we just create more silos? <clears throat> I think um, to add to what you're saying, the most probably the most powerful way is if you can find examples of the issues you just addressed that actually happen in your own organization and show them to people. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you remember that last year 
we have three departments like we have branding marketing and innovation yeah. and yeah. It, look at look at this that these are the three different journey maps or do you remember those workshops we did last year where we mapped the journey while well, all the posts are on the floor and nobody knows where mm. the map mm. is so i mm. think it's really powerful if you can actually because you don't want people to have to go through that journey of doing post-its running into mm. the challenges you want mm. to speed up uh, the mm. process to see to let them accept that it's valuable to use more sophisticated tools and i think it's really powerful if you start collecting evidence of where those pain pain points are within your own organization i totally agree and one um one uh, proof of that or another aspect i think is very good to to collect is if there has been journey mapping efforts before, it's a good question to go back and see what have we managed to implement from that? How much money did we put in that, into that? And how much have we implemented it? And then usually when just working with post-its or something, or, I mean, similar things to, 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 to that is not purpose fit. I mean, usually you would see that uh, we did a, a great, great workshop and we did some really good customer insights. We did some really good customer journeys. We haven't managed to implement anything of it. Okay, great. That's well spended money. <laughs>